Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. I hope you all had a wonderful week. My name is Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrows, and thank you for joining me today on my segment with Correct Around the Clock. If you don't belong to Craft Around the Clock, all you have to do is go up in the descriptions right up above, hit the, the uh, link for Craft Around the Clock, and go join us, a free group, and you can watch us creators 24-7, seven days a week. Oh, I forgot to put one of my lights on. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Here I am. I hope you had a blessed weekend uh, here in New Jersey. Uh, it was a glorious weekend yesterday. Well, yesterday was a beautiful Sunday to get out and enjoy the fresh air and a little bit of the sunshine and some of the warmth of the nice weather. Hello, Dawn. Hello, Lori. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming on. Real quick before I do my project, guys. Thank you, Karen, for sprinkling. I so appreciate it. Hi, Marsha. One of our fancy friends um, sent me a happy mail. But first of all, I have to tell you, look at the box. And this is from Ellen Spencer. And Ellen, I hope you come on. Hello, Karen. Hello, Carol. Look at just the box alone. I'm like, how pretty is that? Right? And it's an ornament. Well, first, and then look how she packaged it. <laughs> Well, presentation is everything, right, ladies? Presentation is everything. Hi, Norma. And look how cute. Is that adorable for our spring tree? Oh, my goodness. Ellen, it is spectacular. And Ellen, thank you so much for putting your name on the back. The the, the day, well, April 2024. This, And this way, I always remember who gave it to me. Hi. Virginia. Hello, Courtney, Natalie. But look, gosh, look, look. I mean, look at the detail in this. I have to show you. I mean, look at that. Is that amazing or what? It's so beautiful. It's gorgeous. So thank you, Ellen. I appreciate it. And the box and the packaging are just amazing. I know, Mary Beth. Isn't it darling? I know, this is so beautiful. Hello, Tracy Campbell. How are you doing, sweet friend? So this is going to go on our spring tree as soon as I get... Oh, maybe I just... There we go. Let's just put it on there now. Oh, oh hold on. You know, I always got to find the right spot for it, ladies. So this might not be the right spot. I might have to change it <laughs> next time you see it. Anyway, but thank you, Ellen. I appreciate it. So we're going to get more things on our spring tray, spring tree this week. Hi, Angie. Hello, Cindy. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope you grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come and join me. We're going to do a fun project today. We're going to do an antique washboard that my, of course, my sister Kerry found for me. Look, look at this. Oh, that's it. And then this is the back. Now, the back already, I just gave it a real quick dry brush. Um, but look how cute that is. So if I want to change it where I just want it plain, I'll leave it like this, but this is where we're going to fancy it up. Hi, Edith. Thank you for so much for the blessings. I appreciate it. Hi, Mary. How are you, Ocean Breeze and me? Thanks for joining me. Hi, Wanda. Oh, you have a couple. You, Wanda says she has a couple of these that she wants to make over, so you're in the right place today. All right, so let me show you the paper I'm using today. It's Roy Cycle Treasures, and I am a retailer with Roy Cycle Treasures. And I carry them on my website. If you do not know what my website is, oh gosh, ladies, probably should have got this ready for you. Here we go. All you need to do is put this in the comments, exclamation point, website, no spaces, all small letters. It will take you, this link will take you right to my website. And uh, if you're interested in any of the papers or anything else I have on my website, it takes you right there. Oh, Mary had one sitting in her garage for 25 years. Well, it's your day. Good. You know what? I was hesitant on doing this. And I did one, I don't know, maybe about two years ago. But when well, my sister gave this to me, this is going to be a totally different look. So um, I wanted to do it. All right. So this is the Roy Cycle Treasures paper that I'm using today, guys. Isn't this so pretty? Oh, look at the birds. The little, the little yellow birds on there. I mean, look at this paper. Now, we're only going to use a, a little piece of this paper, guys. So um, you're going to be able to do many projects with this paper um, if you have it. So let me show you. This is the one. See? I already took a piece out of here, this paper right here. So we're going to use this bottom part right here with the bird and the flowers for this project. So like I said, you can do many different projects out of it. And then I also will be using... This is from, this is the new IOD release 
<laughs> Thanks, Carrie. Uh, this is the new IOD release. Um, it's their, uh, it's called Apothecary Labels and it's their mini stamps. All right. Now, you know what, you know, your project speaks to you. I think I'm going to be using this. So I took it out. We're not sure, but we're going to be doing some, doing uh, a little lace and some bows on there, but, um, we're going to see. So let, you know what, let me get this out of the way right here. Put it, I don't want to get any paint on it. All right. So we're just, remember if you're decoupaging anything, you need to, to do a dry brush on it. So it makes a paper pop. So we're going to use this. Hey, Terry. Hi, Debbie. Howdy. Um, we're going to use the Paint Couture in the Italian Ivory. Now, um, I get the bigger containers. Um, Paint Couture, ladies, which is a, which I love about the company, they come in two, two ounces. Um, so if it's colors that you're not, not going to use on, you know, all the time. Now, you know, I love my antique white, so I buy the bigger ones. Um, but they, all these paints do come in two ounces. And you can find the link to this in on my website, all paint products is where you can find paint couture. So what I do is I put them in little teeny jars. Um, it's just easier for me that way. So, but see, Italian ivory. <laughs> all right. So we're going to give it a dry brush with that. Oh, God. Oh, I opened that. I was going to go. Here we go. I didn't uh, open them up ahead of time. Yikes. I did that the other day and, and I used the knife and it went pop and boop and everything went all over the place. Oh my gosh. Actually, you know what? Let me get, give this a good shaky shake. Hi, Lynn. How are you? We got Patricia here and Kathy and Sheila's here and Rose and Lynn. Thank you, ladies. And guys, if you would get the hearts going like it's 4th of July. Well, no, no, that's not the next holiday. What's the next holiday? Um, Labor, uh, Memorial Day. Like it's Memorial Day. I would have so appreciated. Um, Facebook's been a little wonky lately and it's not wanting to push us out there that much. So if not just me, if you're on any of the other creators page, if they, if you would just give them some love and give them some hearts, they would surely appreciate it. And I so appreciate it too. Hi, Sandy. Hello, Susan. Good morning. All right. So let me, um, you know what? Let me see one quick. Let me get a bigger brush. And we're going to be here forever. Um, hold on, guys. There we go. This is, if I just use to paint that, this is almost like painting a piece of furniture. It's pretty big, right? So if I use this little brush, oh, goodness, we're going to be here forever. So this will this will be real quick. I love my Klingons, guys. People always ask me um, when I was a furniture painter. What were my favorite brushes? They were Klingons. Klingons, my favorite. Klingon Mini is my absolute favorite. I just don't have it here with me right now. So it's downstairs, so I used it for something. But Klingons are my favorite. You can also find these on Paint Couture um, and all paint products. Hi, Susan. So let's just give this a real quick, oh, let me, I like to mist my paint brushes a little bit first, get them a little bit wet before I paint with them. Oh, okay, Tamara. I'll try that next time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, with a knife, it flipped up. I mean, you want to you talk about paint everywhere. <gasps> paint everywhere. There we go. All right, so let's get going here so we can get this project done. I, my main... My main thing is to show you how to get them into all of these little teeny grooves. And it's pretty simple. It just takes a little bit of pushing it with the, your brush. That we will do, you know, with my my favorite paint brushes that I use all the time. But if you're doing big projects, draws, things like that, you can use a bigger paintbrush. Like I said, Klingon is my absolute favorite. Hello, Rusty Cottage by Christina. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Hi, Irma. Thank you. Well, you know what? There we go. Try not to get any paint. Guys, another tip. If you do get paint on your clothes, if you real quick, real quick, right after you're done your live <laughs> or whatever you're painting, hit it with some, the, um, your Dawn, um, I like to use that power wash stuff. Hit it with that, throw it in your washing machine and uh, your paint will come right off. But you gotta do it immediately, guys. As soon as you, soon, as soon as you can, I should say. And your paint should come off. There we go. There we go. So I'm just doing a dry brush. There we go. I don't wanna cover it all up. I don't 
necessarily want, um, I'd like a little bit of the wood to show a little bit, right? So see how it's not totally covered? That's good. Hello, Vicki. Hey, Jacqueline. How are you? There we go. All right, so I'm just a little hesitant to cover this writing up, but I don't, the wording on it was not too, it says sanitary front drain. Oh, I kind of didn't like those words. So we're covering it up. There we go. So this is, this is definitely an antique. Some, as they used to call them, housewives. Definitely use this to wash some clothes in it. There we go. So just a dry brush. Let me see, how's that going? Yeah, that looks good. All right, let me get this a little bit darker. There we go. So how's everybody's weather today? Today here uh, is just, this is one of the nicest days we've had since last spring, guys. Today in New Jersey, it's gonna be in the 70s. It's actually gonna be warm. And the sun is shining. It's just uh, fabulous. It makes you wanna go out and plant flowers, but here in New Jersey, the rule of thumb is no planting until Mother's Day. Rule of thumb, just to make sure that you're not going to get a frost. So, but where, what's by you? How is the, I mean, what, what's the date where you can start planting flowers? Here, yeah, not until middle of May. It's beautiful in Ohio so far too, Christina. Yeah, right. Rose is in the 90s. Where are you, Rose? That's hot. See, that's hot. That's, that's air conditioned time. <laughs> Oh, Irma. Oh, my Irma. Oh, my gosh. My. Wow. Everybody, if we could please keep Irma and her family. She lost her son-in-law in a tragic uh, accident on Saturday. Irma. Oh, my gosh. You, Irma, don't you worry, my sweet friend. You are in prayers. Oh, Irma. Oh, my gosh. I wish I could give you a hug. Um. Wow. Wow. That's uh, terrible. You are in our prayers. You and your family, you and your family, absolutely, absolutely. I will also make sure that my, I will, I will, all, all my other groups, I will pin that to, um, not pin it to, but I will let, put in the prayer chain for you, Irma. Wow. Wow. I am, I'm so sorry, Irma. My prayers go out to you and your family. What a tragedy. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Oh, you know, guys, I, you know, and I was just saying that to my sister yesterday. No one's guaranteed tomorrow. It's just you, you put your foot down in the morning, your feet down off your bed, and you don't even know what your day's going to bring. And you have no idea what God has in store. And it's just, you just don't know. You just don't know. Thank you, everybody, for all the prayers for Irma and her family. Um... Irma, I'm so glad that you put that on there. So um, we can all keep you in prayer. Thank you, Irma. I appreciate it. Yes. Oh, yikes. Right, guys? Oh. My heart is so saddened for you, Irma. My heart is saddened. Oh. Oh. Hi, Tina. I'm glad you caught me live, too, today. Thank you. All right, so that pretty much dried quick. All right, so let's put that away. Now my decoupage medium of choice, you know, is Pinkator decoupage medium. Now, it, they, they have two of them. One's matte, one shine. Shine is not a gloss. Shine is satin, guys. Shine is satin. Oh, somebody followed me for 1,300 days. Whoa, 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 whoa. How cool is that? All right, let me get my paper ready. Let me get my paper out. There we go. And let's see. All right, so we're going to use. Now, um, one thing I want to let you ladies know when you're doing the paint, when you're doing something like that, you know, like you're decoupaging, right? Some other product. You would go like this and you put lines, you crease lines down. 
to make it fit perfect. When you're doing something like this, where you're going to go in and out and in and out, you need extra paper on both sides because it's going to, because it's your, um, it's going to um, take more paper because you're going in and out and in and out, if that makes sense. I'm hoping I'm explaining myself correctly. All right. So here's the bottom where we're going to start because I want to make sure I get the bird in there, right? And then look how much extra paper I have right here, right? And who knows? I might have to, and you know, some, I can, you know, if I need some more, I can just cut some and, and you know, add it to it. That's what's good thing about decoupaging, right? Um, but this has about at least three inches extra paper right there. So you're going to need extra paper when you're going in and out um, of, you know, something that has like a curb, you know, a lot of curved surfaces like that. Oh, Pam, you are so kind. Oh, you did, Christi Christina. I'm telling you, you're going to love them. You're going to love Pink Couture products. And if I forgot to mention, Pink Couture has a top coat and primer built in. What? Is that great or what? Top coat and primer built in. Yeah, you got to allow extra for the paper because um, it's, it's going in and out. So that's one thing of, that I love about that. Now, the other, now they do have a chalk line. Um, tank of tour that does not have a top coat and you know primer built in so if you're using the chalk on like I did the other day I almost forgot because I'm so used to using the ones you know the mineral paint ones to put a top coat on because I was putting the wax on top of it or a gel um, an antiquing gel um, but then I remembered so that was good hello Cynthia all right oh that's going to be a little short. Hmm. I don't know if I want it. I feel it's going to fit. It might be a little short. I might have to use. Uh, well, I think I cut it. Look what I did. Maybe if I cut it too short, well, that's no big deal. Let's see. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I cut it a little too short. Um... It's not going to be a big deal because, oh, wait a minute, maybe it's going to be okay. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, so I could just add that right to it, just like that. And nobody's going to be any the wiser. See, good thing I made a mistake here, ladies. I cut it a little bit too short. I cut, I, cut, I didn't cut it down exactly. Um, all right. Let's get this page. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll just get another sheet. No, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to show you if case, so you know how to do it. If you, if you don't measure correctly, like I just did, <laughs> um, how you can just add it on and you're not going to even see it. Okay, there we go. All right. So the same thing. I put my decoupage meters in small little containers. Thank you, Karen. All right. Let me just shake it. No. Oh. Ugh, here we go. So maybe I'll open the big one. Maybe the big one is, is that tissue paper. Pam, this is, it's a heavier weight than tissue paper, but it's its not a rice paper. It's a tissue paper, but it's a much heavier weight than tissue paper like you pack your um, gift bags in or something like that. Add some trim. Yeah, I could do that too, Jen. I could do that. Jen, how are you? How is your hand doing? I hope it's better. Hey, Kelby. What kind of decoupage medium? This one right here. This is my favorite. This I use this a hundred percent of the time. You will. This is what you're going to see me use the decoupage medium in shine. It is. Um. It's my top favorite. I don't even have another favorite that goes down. The second, my second favorite. This is all I use. This is all I use. I love it. But it just depends on the kind of look you're looking for. It does come in matte. It comes in a gloss, and it says shine. So don't be confused that um it's going to be shiny it's not it's a satin it's a satin finish and where did the paper come uh i it's roy cycle treasures and i'm a retailer for roy cycle treasures so you can find it on my website if you put this in the comments exclamation point website no spaces all small letters all right i am a retailer for roy cycle treasures so i appreciate you using my link guys whenever you can um it doesn't cost you anything extra and it just helps me um, continue doing what I'm doing. I get a small percentage of whatever you purchase and it helps me with my costs of, of coming on here every day, pretty much every day, 
and um, hoping to inspire you ladies to make beautiful things for your home. So it, that's how, how we get paid here <laughs> by you guys using our affiliate link. So if you, you could use our affiliate links when we're doing a project, we would appreciate it. Not just me, but all the other creators too. You know, they, they really support, they would really love your support if you use their affiliate links. Okay, so there we go. So let's put our first piece down just like this. And that's going to go right in there. All right, so let's get that down. And I'm just pushing. So now, let okay, me see. I'm just pushing it down just like this into. I'm going to keep this here. I might need to add a little bit more of my medium just to get it in. And see, so now we got our first piece in the slot. Okay. And if we have any newbies here, guys, could you please welcome them? If I do not see them, if you could welcome them in, I would appreciate it. But something like this, I kind of have to concentrate on. Okay, so here we go. And it's I'm pushing it into the next slot just like that. Can you see that? Just like that. Hey, thank you. Hi, Chris and Nancy. All right. Same thing with that. Now you're just pushing it in. And see what it's doing? It's, it's, it's like an accordion and it's making the paper go like this. So that's what I mean. You need extra. You got to give yourself some extra length. All right. So who knows? I might need even need some extra on the top, but we'll see. See? And just like that. And just go in with your brush. Now, these are my favorite brushes, guys. These brushes are fantastic too. A lot of people ask me about these. These I just get on Amazon. They are worth their weight in gold. Um, the ones I, I, I've had for a really long time that I'm still using, they, I can't tell you I, that I've ever had one that has ever, um, whoop, let me move this a little bit, that has ever shed on me. I have never had one of these brushes shed. Never, never, never. They are wonderful. And if you like a link for that, I can put that, um, I could put a link for these brushes when I'm done. But, um, if you ever get one where they shed, no, Pam, it's not. My sister found it for me. It's not a gray barn find. No, not this one. So um, these brushes, they, and I, how I clean them is with a, with just that power wash soap on the hard side of a sponge and they just don't shed. They just don't, they just don't shed. They're the best brushes. And um, if you get them in the bigger pack, they're less than a dollar a piece. So that's cheaper than the Dollar Tree. And they're better quality. Just an FYI. All right, so I'm pushing this back here and now we need some more decoupage medium for here. All right, any questions on this ladies? Can you kind of get the drift of what I'm doing here? I hope you do. It's just putting your decoupage medium and then pushing it into the little grooves of the washboard. Just like that. Where can I get a washboard? Uh, Rose, um, look in your antique stores, your thrift stores. Um, I can, I can recommend an antique store if you want to give them a call. And um, a lot of times they have them in stock and they do ship anywhere in the United States. Um, you can, you can find them on Facebook. It's called Gray Barn Antiques, G-R-E-Y, G-R-E-Y. Great Barn Antiques. Look them up on Facebook. They have a phone number and you can con you can call them. Um, it's a husband and wife team, Jeanette and Don, and they can let you know if they have a washboard in there. And a lot of times I do see them in there, so you can look. They're just not open on Mondays and Tuesdays, but you can leave a message. Um, Janet, I'm going to just add it right on. We're just going to add the paper right on there. It was It was user error. User, user error, guys. That was user error. That was me. I was not paying attention, but I'm kind of glad it happened. So you ladies can see what happens if you don't cut right. Now, if you didn't have paper that fit, you can put this in the middle. Do you know what I'm saying? You could actually put it in the middle and then just stress around the edges. I would, you know, I'd, I'd center it more, but I want this to fit. So I'm just going to add paper. I'm going to show you how you do that. It's no big deal. No big deal. So I'm kind of glad it happened so I can show you. So I'm um, just take, now you don't want a lot of, you don't want a lot of decoupage medium. 
You're just pushing that in just like this. What paper am I using? Linda, this is from Roy Cycle Treasures. Uh, boy, what's the name of it? It's called Spring Something, I think. Spring Bird, I forget. But I do carry it on my website. If you go into, uh, go on my website, hit the category Roy Cycle Treasures, hit shop, you know, the shop button, and it'll bring it up to all my categories and you see Roy Cycle Treasures and you'll see the paper right in there, guys. Here we go. All right, but let me show you. Let me get it up a little. Oh, look how cute that is looking, right? Look at that. And I'm telling you, you kind of, this doesn't even look bad, but we're going to cover it. Well, thank you, Marlene. I so appreciate you. Janet, you need to learn how to patch. Okay, good. See? I always say uh, it's never a mistake when you do something, especially when you're crafting. It's never a mistake. It's just a learning experience, right? Just a learning experience of what to do and what, what to do and what not to do the next time. That's all. So what to do next time? Pay attention. I was so excited to talk to all you ladies. Um, I wasn't paying attention to where I'm cutting. I was involved in speaking to all of you. So that's what happened with that. But that's okay. Um, see, it, it, it was meant to be. And I can show you how to patch it. It's not a big deal. It's going to be totally fine. It just would have been a lot faster because I, that would have been <laughs> done already. But that's okay. That's okay. Thank you, Beverly. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm busy. Ch -ch you know, I have, you know, hey, listen, everybody's page is not for everybody, right? And I do get a lot of people that say, get on with the project. You talk too much. But come on, right? What the what's fun is that? If you can't chat with the people that come on your page, I say when you guys, when you ladies come, it's like you're coming into my home. And would you have somebody come into your home that you wouldn't welcome and sit down and have a, have a wonderful conversation with, right? You just wouldn't. You just wouldn't. So I'm going to say hello to everybody. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. So they, I, of course, Amazon has washboards. Yeah, but they're not going to be antique. But if they, if you, if that doesn't matter to you, that doesn't matter to you. You can get in there. Maybe even Hobby Lobby. I don't know. Has anybody ever seen a washboard in Hobby Lobby? But um, if you're looking for antique, try Gray Barn. Um, they pretty much always carry them. But my sister gave me this one. Maybe she got it at Gray Barn. Who knows? Carrie, if you're still on here, did you get it at Gray Barn? <gasps> my sister, when she sees things that she knows that I can create something with, she picks them up for me. And uh, I love her for that. Thank you, Carrie, if you're still on here. Okay. Because I know you can make something out of it. There we go. All right. Guys, look how great that's looking. Aw, thank you, Virginia. Hello, Joyce from Lexington, Tennessee. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. Okay. Now, see right here, guys? See that? So I had about, I'm saying about three inches of extra paper, give or take, right? And I only have about an inch and a half left. That was about that much paper. It covered about this it covered about this whole thing right here. And this is all I have left. So this is what I mean that you need extra length don't cut it for size. Do not cut it for size. All right, but look how cute, guys. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Now, I like to wait. I want to make this a really clean line. I'm going to wait for that to dry, but let's um, let's fix my mistake. All right, so let me close this. And let's get that paper where I made my mistake. Okay, so here's the little tail of the bird right there. Okay, and let me push this this way. Okay. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. I hope I, hope I inspire you to make... What well, my mission is to inspire you ladies, and I hope I do, to make beautiful things for your home that you absolutely fall in love with. That's my... Uh, that's what I want to do. So I hope I do that. All right, so I'm going to give myself a little bit of extra little room where I'm going to cut it right here. Um, now I need a little bit more extra wiggle room. All right, so I think that should be good. Here we go again, ladies. <laughs> oh, Lord, 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 Lord. All right, so this should do it. This should do it. 
All right, so let's cut it. And the same thing as I did before, you gotta make sure you give yourself extra um, room for the foot on the top. There we go. Uh, thank you, Anna. I appreciate your kind words. You're so sweet. All right, there we go. And we put this, where's the bird's tail? Put that right there. And that should be, so let me just show you how easy this is. Nobody's gonna be any of the wiser unless you ladies tell them. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. That looks beautiful, except for the side there where she had to, she had to um, seam the two ends together. <laughs> oh, lordy lord, right? Happy Monday, everyone. Happy Monday. All right, so I'm just putting the... And you'd want to do a little at a time. All right. I put down the medium now. Just want to... I'm lining up the tail. Oh, I gotta push it a little bit over, a little bit more. There we go. There we go. Nobody's gonna be any of the wiser unless you ladies spill the beans on me. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's that's fine. All right, so I'm just doing the same thing. If you can see, I'm just adding. I'm hitting, going and down just like that. But hold on, Whoop. I'm going a little crooked here. Stay, stay. Don't get crooked. All right, I need a little bit more. Now I need some more of the decoupage medium to continue on my way up. And let's see. There we go. Oh. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is hit this in, the, in on the side like this. I'm just gonna put the decoupage medium all on it because this is this, this is doesn't take too long. If I was doing the whole thing like like I just showed you, I wouldn't put the decoupage medium on every single rung here because I wouldn't want it to dry. But I'm just doing this little spot here, so it's gonna be fine. And let's see. Actually, I'm gonna cut this a little bit. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a cut. Uh, where did I put my scissors? Oh, there they are. Okay. Let's get the bird's tail part in. Okay, and then I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna show you. And then we're gonna continue on our way up there. Okay, and can you see? And now you're no wiser. See the bird's tail? It continues right there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right, and then uh, let's see. We could add. I want to make sure I'm getting this flower lined up. Mm. Because this is all wording down here, so that's going to be fine. Ooh, it's the decoupage medium sticking to my hand. All right, I'm just stick it in just like that and just continue all the way up. There we go. And who do we have? Oh, we got a stars party. Thank you, ladies. I so appreciate you. Thanks so much. I didn't even know they did star parties anymore. Facebook is doing away with so much stuff. And I had no idea that they even did that anymore. So thank you, whoever got that started for me. I appreciate it. There we go. All right, just getting it in there just like that. And then I'm just gonna cut it again. There we go. And get that fitted in there. And then I can show you. Whoop. There we go. Well, where are we? There we go. See? And how it's just blending right in. You don't even notice it. Aw, oh, thank you, Susan. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, and then let's continue with this flower right here. And we're gonna be done. 
There we go. But this part of it anyway. See? And nobody's going to be the wiser unless you ladies say something. <laughs> oh, my Lord. There we go. Well, uh, I need to see that it dried a little bit. I need a little bit more. So, you know, this would have been so much simpler if I paid attention to what I was doing. This isn't, this isn't, this is really no big deal. Okay, then I'm just put a little bit more. Where the paper is from, Karen, it, um, is from Morisaco Treasures. I am a retailer for them, and so I do carry it on my, um, it's on my website. You can find this paper on my website. I will you think I would have looked up the name of it before I came on live and I apologize. It's like spring bird or something like that is the name of it. It's very, very pretty. But if you go on my website, you can see it. It's right there. All right. And I'll just push this in. Decoupage. When you decoupage, it's very forgiving, ladies. If you make a mistake and you just go to add on, it's no big deal. Oh. Okay, one, two, three, one, there we go. There we go. All right. Voila, look at that. You can't even tell the difference. Yes, I do, Pam. Paint Couture is on my website under all paint products. It's under all paint products. Yes, it is. Okay, so this I want to dry. This I want to dry because I want a nice, clean, crisp line. If I went now to take my um, my box cutter to cut it, because it's wet, it would pull and rip the paper. So if you wait till it's dry, um, you'll get a better, clean line when you're doing it. So, but I'm just cutting this right here just so we can continue on the top. There we go. Let's cut off the excess, just like that. Oh, and a little bit moved when I did that. Let's put that back in there. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay, and we're just gonna wait for that to dry. And then I will clean up the edge there. But look how pretty that looks. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Look how pretty that is on the washboard, right? So pretty. So yeah, wait till the wait till your decoupage medium is dry um, before you even if you're you know whatever you're going to tear it with whether it's um, a sanding block or you're well I'm going to be using this because I want to get in, into all the details of that just wait till it's totally dry. All right, so we're gonna just make a couple little decorations right here. It's gonna look so pretty. All right, so um, my thought was to, where did I put that stuff? Um, I was gonna put some, um, some stamp. And where did I, where did my stamps go? Oh, gosh, I think I dropped it. Where did I go? Where did, oh, here it is. Sorry, oh, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna stamp right over here and then we're gonna put a really pretty, um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a bow there. I think I'm gonna make a bow. So this is the hypothecary stamps. Did you paint and distress the wood? Um, I just painted it. That's, I did a dry brush, um, Janet. That's all I did. I just did a dry brush. And a dry brush, see how you can still see the wood showing through? So it makes it look, you know, it's like a automatic distress <laughs> without you having, without you having to do that. But just a dry brush, so some of the wood is showing, showing through. And I didn't do a full coat of the paint. Okay, so look at these cute little, look at the sign. Aren't are they cute? So I think that's what I'm gonna stamp on here. So let me show you what they, what you have in here. Look at that. And any of my IOD um, ladies, I do, I do um, get them from Retail Therapy by Mara. Um, and if you don't mind um, supporting her small business, I would appreciate it. All right, so I think I'm gonna use this one. There we go. And aren't they cute? They come in all the little sleeves. That's okay, Janet. You are never late. You Nobody's ever late. No apologies. You are here when you are supposed to be here, guys. You're here when you're supposed to be here. 
All right. So um, I think I'm going to use this one right here. Let me get you up closer. Look at that. It kind of looks like old, right? And then in here, I'm going to put a number. Like, I think maybe, well, I don't say I want to say the year I was born. <laughs> I'm getting old when you don't want to say the year you were born. Oh, boy, oh, boy. So, but this is, this is also, you can find this on paint, uh, all paint products, guys. This is one of my favorites. This is just like an archival ink. It is waterproof. Um, and it's called spiced cinnamon. I thought the spiced cinnamon might look pretty up there, right? So, um, let's, oh, you know what I never did? When you first get your IOD, IOD things, you need to, um, go like this rough them up a little bit with some, with your sandpaper. So I never used this one before because you want your ink to be able to adhere. So you're supposed to do this with them. All right, so now I did that with them. All right, so let's wipe that off, get any. All right, so we're gonna put that, I think we're gonna put that right there, just like that. And then um, we're gonna put a bow here. I hope, I don't know. I'm running out of time, ladies. I think I might not have time to, uh, will I have time to do that? I don't think so. We're running out of time. All right. Um, so let's stamp this. Let's stamp this. So when I take a picture of it, it'll have the bow on there. And then you can see what it looks like. Okay. So let's stamp that right there. I think that's going to look great. Don't worry. I mean, don't be afraid to stamp. What's the worst that can happen when you stamp? If it doesn't come out right, you repaint it and you stamp all over again. They're not stickers. They're stamps. Okay. So when you stamp, hold one end always while you press. And then if you go to the other side, keep this hand steady. And then you press with that hand. Okay. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is supposed to be looking old, so it doesn't really need to be perfect. There we go. I love it. There we go. Look how cute that looks. Right? Newberry, just like that. And then they have the um, all the different letters. And they have the numbers. So let's see if we can get a number now real quick, guys. Let's get number down now for the numbers real quick. I'm just going to use a um, one of these little stamping blocks so I can put them down easily. So I'm going to do, so we're going to do 1960. Now, you know, established, I was, I was established in 1960. Hi, Robin. How are you? I was established in 1960, guys. So I'm going to put that down. Oh, my gosh. How crazy is that? I actually would need the stamping block. Probably not. Let's just put it down. It's take too long for me to get that set up. Let's just put it down. Let's just, I'm established in 1960. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so we got EST. We're going to put that right there. By the time I put them on the block, I wouldn't, my, my segment of Craft Around the Clock would be over. EST. Oh, let's get 1960. Put down there real quick. <gasps> Thank you, Sheila. You were established in 1962, Virginia? How many people were established here in 1960? Let me know, guys. There we go. That's one. Where is the six? Oh, wait, 19. We need nine first. 19. All right. All right, 19. 19. Robin, you're 1970. Oh, you're a youngster. There we go. Marcia, 1949, 1960. Okay. And there are six. Now remember, they don't have to be perfect. I might even go afterwards and do a little bit of a, um, a sanding block on that to lighten it up a little bit, if that makes sense. 19, where's my zero? Oh, here it is. And you guess you use this for the zero. Okay. All right. 1960. How am I doing with time? I think I'm probably almost out of time. All right. There we go. Perfect. Perfectly imperfect. Here we go. Established. 
1960. There we go. <laughs> There we go. All righty, ladies. Thank you so much for joining me today on my segment with Correct Around the Clock. Um, if we please can keep our um, fancy friends in your prayers, I so appreciate it. If we can please keep Irma in your prayers. Um, if you just joined um, Irma, she comes on a lot of uh, a lot of our creative um, friends' lives. Uh, her son-in-law just passed away in a tragic accident on Saturday. So please keep him in all your prayers. Um, I appreciate it. And um, God knows who needs them. All right, ladies. So um, I will see you back uh, tomorrow is if you are on here and if you belong to our fancy clubhouse uh, membership group, we'll be meeting tomorrow at one o'clock and I will see uh, yesterday's tomorrow's back here on Wednesday sometime. Not sure exactly when, uh, but we'll see. And then, uh, you know what? I will wait then. We'll finish it. We'll do a project, but then I'll finish up. I got I got a bow to make, a bow to make here. So we'll finish that up too. So um Thank you, everybody. Yes, prayers for Irma, guys. Please, prayers for Irma. Um, I can't imagine what her and her family are going through um, today and for the last couple of days. So, all right, ladies. Um, God bless you all. And thank you for joining me today. I so appreciate it. Mwah. Thank you.